You almost caught the Warriors off guard. And now you've got to do all of that again to try to find four more wins in this series. If you're LeBron James, and I beg your forgiveness, Northeast Ohio, why would you want to stick around after the season? Why? Why would you want to stick around besides loyalty? Maybe that will be enough to make him stick around. Maybe he likes this dynamic where he calls, he makes all the calls, he has massive input in roster moves, and the owner has gone above the luxury tax threshold to make it work. And if Dan Gilbert is a bozo, which in some ways he is, at least he has paid money to support LeBron and this roster. They forked over the money for J.R. Smith. They forked over the money for Tristan Thompson. They forked over the money. They made the deal for Kevin Love. They made all of those deals, the trade deadline. They brought in Dwayne Wade, his best buddy during the offseason. But a game like that, a moment like that, when you do all of that heavy lifting and then you are undone, unwound, undercut by your teammates, how can that not stick in your craw? One month from now and go, you know, I've done everything I can around here. There's no, there. I can't do this anymore. I mean, if one month from now LeBron James decides to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers and go to the Houston Rockets or the Philadelphia 76ers or somewhere else, all he has to do is watch the gif of Hill missing a free throw and J.R. Smith not knowing the time and score from game one of this finals to make him feel better about the decision. 